We'll now look at selecting data on specific terms, so using a WHERE clause. Now we're going to look at this very basically, but it should give you the fundamental understanding of how you can specifically select records where you need them, or which ones you need. So let's go ahead and take a look at the SELECT um, with the WHERE clause. So I'm going to select STAR from article so I'm selecting all columns from the articles table um, but now what I'm going to do is provide the where clause now this is like um, an if statement almost in programming languages what we're going to do is we're going to say where something equals or is greater than or doesn't equal something so first of all let's take a look at you know something quite basic I'm going to say where ID equals one so what this is going to do is it's going to provide me the record where the field or the column ID is equal to one and obviously I can do the same with ID equals two and this will provide me with the second result. Now what I can also do is do things like where the ID is greater than one and obviously that's going to provide me with two and again if you had things like um, you know created uh, or if you had a, other integer fields or a specific user had posted something and you had the user ID set column which uh, stored user IDs you could go ahead and do this as well. And we can also do things with the created at date as well. So for example, let's go ahead and create a query um, using the now function that we saw earlier. So I'm going to say select star from articles where created is greater than now. Now what do you suppose is going to be returned here? I'm going to get use now to get the current time and date or the current timestamp and I want to select all records where created is greater than now. Now as it stands, when we created these records, that was, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes ago. So if I go ahead and hit enter now, we obviously get an empty set. There's nothing returned. However, if we say we want created at where it's, uh, created at is less than now, obviously, uh, you know, the current day is now and we created these records, you know, a while ago. So we return with both records. So we can use the where clause with all different fields. We could, you know, we could even say where something like where name equals and then give a string value. So working with MySQL, for example, like this. So that will provide us with the working with MySQL article as we requested. So that's just a simple way to use the where clause to pick up specific records from your table.